Hello all you YouTubers and Mustang lovers and enthusiasts all around the world. This is Rev from my Rev It Up blog. Um, I'm in the garage today with the Electrobit, which is my 1999 SVT uh, Mustang Cobra. And uh, it has the original paint code from the factory SW which is the electronic silver metallic clear coat green. And we have done several upgrades if you've been following me. Um, I have came to a major decision and conclusion at this stage in the, the Mustang build. When doing the exhaust, of course, you know, I'm doing a complete exhaust system and I'm having the toughest time uh, getting my SLP loudmouth catbacks from CJ Ponies, which comes from direct from the shipper, the supplier, uh, SLP. I ordered them on Black Friday, which was November 26th, and of course today is December 28th, and I haven't gotten them yet. So um, I'm not happy about that. That's one of the only delays that I'm waiting on for the vehicle. But um, I had the intentions on keeping her original as possible but the more i look at her the more she's just um she's a pro street car you know so um i decided to, to go pro street so as all you may know pro street means that um these are illegally you can drive them on the street or you can race them on the track this is a pro street um, car, muscle car, it's the things that was done to this vehicle has gone way beyond Ford expectation on how fast these things should go. This is 320 horsepower from the factory with the 32 valve V8 engine. It's a beautiful engine up underneath there. And of course all the upgrades that were done uh, to this vehicle, um, it's no longer an original Cobra. This is a Pro Street car. So um, I have the Cobra Snake Strike Kit. I have a Vortec 3 Supercharger on here. Okay, so we have to have our battery location kit. So the battery is in the trunk. And we have the Morsel Coolant Reservoir for the Supercharger. And uh, we have the coolant uh, radiator for the uh, more so for the supercharger. We also have a, a a water pump for the supercharger to pump the water through the reservoir to keep it the supercharger nice and cool. We also have the, uh, the black strut support brace. Okay, we have a JLT cold air intake. We have a, um, I believe it's 60 or 73 millimeter throttle body spacer in there. Um, we have the bigger injectors on here. Uh, the nice NGK uh, spark plugs upgraded because of the supercharger. And uh, the just, just, I've added a, a five inch tachometer with a shift light uh, that sits in the dash and from UPR I got the little uh, mount that you don't have to screw any holes into your dashboard it actually goes in behind the dash and screws in to the screws that screw into the air conditioning and the heating hole vents so it's at the right height and of course I have my two pot pillar gauge because I'm going to make that a three because I have my boost and my fuel pressure gauge to monitor what I'm doing with the supercharger. Now we also have, this car has been lowered about three inches. It's, it rides real low to the ground. It sits just right. You can probably get two and a half fingers uh, between the front and the rear tires. And we also have the big uh, 13 inch uh, rotors in the front with the cooling slots in it 
the dual pistons in the front, uh, the calibers and the um, disc brakes are painted uh, gloss black. And we just got through installing um, BBK long tube headers with the BBK off-road X-pipe. And so we had to take the K member down to do that. And when I took the K member down, I noticed how the K member, the lower ball joint, the rubber bushing, the bushing was just uh, split all the way around and they, they just flopped all around and I needed a new racket pinion steering. So um, I went basically, I just redid the whole front and I got the racket pinion, inner outer tie rods, I got the sway bar bushings, uh, the links, the spacers, the bolts. Also, I got new A-frame, which comes with the lower ball joints in it. Now, my springs are, are fairly new. Uh, they're, they're cut, they're fairly short. The struts are Bill Steins. You know, those are the expensive struts. And uh, they're in great shape. I, re I did the brakes. And um, so basically, the whole front end is basically brand new underneath there. And my uh, wheel hub and the steering knuckle, I took those off with shop mounts and the backing plate, I cleaned it, I wire wheeled it, sanded it all down, I cleaned them and I got the wheel hub and the, um, the steering knuckles painted gloss black. So everything is all clean up under there. The space